liberty. Welcome to uh, day two of the tour and we have just arrived at Yosemite National Park. We're sort of lucky and unlucky because there's been some really big bushfires um, over the last three weeks here. We begin tonight with the latest on the Oak Fire. Governor Gavin Newsom issued a state of emergency for the Oak Fire burning in Mariposa County. This is happening near Yosemite National Park. Thousands of people have been ordered to leave their homes. Tonight, the urgent battle to save one of Yosemite's most valued treasures is heating up. The Mariposa Grove, home to the largest collection of giant sequoias in the park, some standing here for thousands of years, now under threat from an out-of-control inferno that's been tearing through drought-stricken brush since Thursday. We're lucky in the sense that the park is now open and the road coming in was open, which was a, a bit of a risk on the way here. The downside is that there's a lot of smoke around, so it's making visibility uh, not super easy. Unfortunately, even though it's smoky, the views are absolutely spectacular. The threats of fires are still pretty real. Actually, on the way here, I'll throw a bit of footage in. Um, driving along the road, literally, a uh, fire broke out with a broken down car. And just so happened that because fire trucks were driving past from the bushfires, they all pulled over and within about three seconds there was um, trucks and firemen and a whole bunch of stuff going on to put the fire out. We're just going to have to do our best here and see what we can get. So we're just finishing up now in Yosemite. Uh, unfortunately, the smoke has definitely caused us a few problems in terms of visibility. It's, um, it's pretty foggy. I'll face this away so you can see what I'm talking about. We've gotten lucky with the weather in terms of being allowed to get in here, because um, it has been closed off for about two weeks. So grateful that we did get to come in here, but it doesn't quite do it justice, particularly on the camera. It definitely looks a lot better in person. Um, but on the camera it definitely looks a bit blown out, which is a shame. So what I might actually do is I might throw up a few photos I've found online of where I am. Um, it'll give you guys an idea, and myself an idea, of what it looks like when there is no smoke. 
Um, so I'll throw those in now. So as you can see, the view is absolutely stunning and it is a bit of a shame. Um, I mean, I'm still getting the experience. I'm still appreciating Yosemite for exactly what it is, which is absolutely stunning. But yeah, the, the smoke has been a bit of a pain in the ass, but that's okay, you can't win them all. So I might throw over to that footage of us going back down the mountain and back out of Yosemite National Park. And then from there, we will be hitting the road for about four or five hours with the power of editing and Photoshop and every tool under the sun, I can get rid of a little bit of this smoke in some of the footage. Um, and it looks pretty cool. So let's, uh, let's try to that now and then we'll see you when we get to the ranch. the world's tallest thermometer. Roberto, what'd you say? 41 meters. And it's currently 100 degrees. Welcome to day three, where we are on our way to Las Vegas. So we've just hit Death Valley. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed some of the footage on the way in of the desert. To be honest, the Mojave Desert has actually blown me away, probably a little bit more than Yosemite. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Hopefully the, um, the footage, even though we're on the bus, uh, is coming out okay. Uh, we actually had a lot of fun shooting it. So um, fingers crossed. There's not too much uh, dirty bugs on the windscreen and um, mess in front of it, but the landscape out here has been absolutely stunning. So hopefully that came out well. And uh, basically now we're making our way through the last little bit of the drive into Vegas. Um, so I'm probably gonna end the video two um, here and start up video three on the strip tonight. I'm really looking forward to shooting some of the lights and everything going on there. So thanks for tuning in for video two. Um, stick around for video three, which as I said, hopefully should come out um, not too soon after this one uh, about our experiences in Vegas. Thanks uh, for tuning in. Cheers, guys.
So at the world's uh, the world's tallest thermometer, which is right above me, it is bloody huge. Have a listen to the welcome music. The old screamer is not usually what you welcome your customers with, but not complaining. 